this is a quick movie just showing you how the um, 3D viewer works inside Image Pro. Um, I've got open a little Z sequence here, controlled by the sequence control playback here. Um, this image has been saved with all the relevant information. This one came from a BioRed Confocal. Um, in it, it has all of the wavelength information and it has quite importantly the Z distance information here so we can see the Z stack sizes and we also have the calibration information in here which is quite useful for reconstruction. Um, if not this can always be added in later on but to use the 3D viewer we're going to go to measure 3D viewer which opens up a little dialog box here. Automatically when it opens up it tells us that the image is 512 by 512 by 61 images in Z and it tells us from the header information of the file that it knows the X, Y and Z spacing and the X, Y and the Z spacing. Um, the next option here is, is subsampling. We have quite a lot of data here and some computers won't be able to handle it. So if you press auto, it'll subsample. When we load that into 3D, that may appear to be quite blocky. Effectively, we're, we're reducing the resolution here eight times. So sometimes if it's eight by eight by eight, you're probably best to divide whatever number it gives you above one by four. So eight would be two, by two and don't worry about one and that'll probably be fine. So and then as soon as I press OK I'm loaded into 3D and you can see I can just use my mouse to drive this dialog around my X, Y and Z. I've got a few controls at the top. I can put maximum intensity projection on. Uh, I can have it as an orthogonal projection or not. Um, I, cha I can change the background. I know for some reason I might want it as as that. I probably never wanted anything other than black, but there we are. Okay. I can also change the size of the 3D view as I need to, and I can use Control and Alt and then left click myself in and out and zoom around as I need to. If I wanted to just take a picture of this in 3D so I can put it into a report, I can just go copy and then go edit, paste new, and there is the 3D picture which I can just save as a JPEG or anything else. I can also, if I want to, create a quick animation. So I could say, rotate me around these particular positions. Let me just offset Z a little bit and do that in 50 images. Go. Okay. Now I can minimize my viewer and now you can see here I have a file which I can just simply file, save as, and save that as an AVI movie. If I wanted to look at a, a smaller area, I can do that at any stage. I could just say, okay, I'm interested just in this little area here. Then when I do my load, it still maintains the parameters. Uh, my auto suggestion is a lot less, which means I can probably actually just do one by one by one. And that means I'm straight in there on the resolution of the system. If I want to modify it, I can just use the regular Image Pro enhancement tools. I can just bring up my contrast enhancement and say I want it a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit more contrasty. I can control that as I would do normally. This is the basic viewer that is included inside Image Pro. Obviously we have um, 3D Constructor which is a plugin which would allow you to uh, say measure these objects, see how round they are and how far they are apart. I hope that's been of help. If you need any more please contact your local dealer or your local sales office. Thanks.